Well, Essex Junction has always been my home since I was born here in 1935 on Halloween. We're growing up in, in Essex Junction. I grew up through part of the Depression. I grew up through World War II and the Korean War, as did all my generation. I started out in first and second grade at Park Street School. And there was a war going on at the time. And the 40th and Allen was full of soldiers training to go to England and getting ready for, for D-Day. And in the morning, you would see the trucks go by, the army trucks go by, and then the tanks would go by and the howitzers were being pulled by the trucks. And then you'd see the infantry go by. And in the afternoon on certain days, the commander at the base would call the farmers around here and tell them to put all the their cattle all in the barn. We were going to put planes up and, and uh, have a two practice parachute drops. So I sit on my grandparents' back porch and I'd watch that. And then uh, after third grade, or after second grade, we went up to what is now Fleming School. And that was th three through 12. There wasn't any high school in, uh, where you go to high school today. There was, that was a cornfield and a pasture. And there wasn't any Summit Street School. And there wasn't any, any ADL and there wasn't any Hiawatha. Those are the two schools back in, in the 50, 40s and 50s. Well, it's similar in some respects, just like it is now. That, well, there used to be a curve there by where the park is, and, and they put all the war monuments and the flags and the, and the fountain in the park. <clears throat> but in those days, that wasn't there, and so that was a place where we could play touch football. And one team would have to stand out in the five corners, and the other team would stand over by the, where the bank was. And if a car came by, they'd wait till we finished the play, and then we'd get out of the road. I've got a picture of the original Lincoln, of the uh, library, Brownell Library, but it didn't have any of this on the front uh, or on the parking lot side now. And the parking lot took over our skating rink in the wintertime. The fathers would get, get together and they'd flood the rink and we'd skate there all, all winter long. That was our skating rink. One of the things we used to do in the wintertime besides skate, the fathers would take turns and they'd run us, one father would take a group of us up to Underhill Ski Bowl and another father would go back up and pick us up and bring us home. We did that for two or three years. And finally we got real good and we get dropped off at Stowe. The only thing there was a single chair and a short rope tow. That's all Stowe consisted of back in 1948. This is the one I said was Fleming before it was Fleming, where we went to school. Our class went to school from the third grade to the twelfth grade. And there wasn't any gym on the Prospect Street School until I was a, the fall of my sophomore year. That was the first year that was put into play. The only other place we had to do our school basketball was called the Dust Bowl. It's a, a name that not many people remember anymore, but the top of the backboard was attached to the ceiling. So you had to do your shots, had to be line drives. And there was a little stove by the sat in between two sets of bleachers to keep the place warm. And the fairground is a little bit different now, that's another one. Where the shopping center is now, that's where the midway of the fair used to be. And where the parking lot in front of the grandstand, uh, that's where the race horse track was. When I was a little kid, about six, seven years old, my mother and father both worked and my grandparents kind of babysat me and my sister. And they had that farm and they would, some years they had cattle in the barn on Pearl Street. And in those years, come springtime, they had to, they'd get them out and they'd take them down to Cascade Street. They didn't put them in a truck, they walked them down. And my grandfather would say, go stand over in front of this street, and that would be Summit Street. Don't let them go up through it. And he would be behind them. And we get down to School Street and he said the same thing, you know, don't let them turn. Yeah. Then when he got close to the five corners, he said, now get out in the middle of five corners and push them towards Park Street. And we had to walk up all the way down Park Street and then down Cascade Street to the, that old red barn that's kind of falling down now. And that would be the summer pasture and where you go. Now, now this one picture here doesn't predate me. Down here is my grandfather's part of my grandfather's farm at the time. And it's about where Big Lots is now. And I'm looking across the street where all those big apartments are. 
This is what it looked like back in the 40s and early 50s. The brickyard, which probably nobody knows about now, turned out all the bricks that built the 40th and Allen buildings. They've had their own uh, their own track, side track that went right across Central Street and Main Street over into the brickyard. And they load the bricks and they go by train. But Essex Junction was certainly the best place to be growing up. We could just take off in the morning and we might be back at noon and we may not be back till four in the afternoon. Well, one of the fondest memories is we could just come and go. We didn't have to worry about anybody or anything. Everybody kind of knew who we were if they didn't know us well, but they, they knew we were local kids and that was it. And we could go, we, we would hitchhike by Whitcomb's farm. There was the brook that goes through there and was under the, near the bridge there was a swimming hole. So we would hitchhike and we'd go to that pool and we'd swim for an hour or so and then we'd hitchhike home. But things, things have changed changed a lot, but Lincoln Hall is still there. That's the oldest public building in, in, in Essex Junction. And the Congregational Church, which just did its 150th anniversary a few years back, is the oldest church in the junction. Holy Family is the next oldest church in the junction. One of the oldest houses in Essex Junction is a, is a big brick house, a friend of ours, on the corner of South Street and Park Street, a big brick house. Just a, a word of, of caution for kids, keep, your, keep focused on what you're doing. Keep your confidence up, feel good about yourself. You are somebody special and don't ever forget that, okay? That was fun.